now within sql we can use the commands and try to find the word count or word count frequency of each and every word so if we just use smartly the options that are available within sql we can write uh, some of, we can use some of the functions within sql then get the each word and its count basically the query that we are writing here is select the word and count as one from this particular another sub query so basically if you try to understand this whole query what exactly it is trying to do it will take stack overflow tags and it will take particular column tag one and it is splitting based on space first you take tag one column then you split it based on space that will give you the words you take them as words group them order by order them by words and then you select word and count so basically if you know sql so basically before learning hive the requirement is sql if you know sql then you will understand this whole query on your own once you have this sql query that will give you the word count simply you give hive you submit it to hive output we can take it into the output hive out word count dot txt when we execute it map reduce will be automatically started once we have the map reduce finally the output will give us the each and every word and its count or the frequency So map is map is almost completed. Reduce has just started. Stage one map hundred percent complete. Reduce also completed. The output will be this is stage two map just started. And then the output being sent to the output file hive word count dot txt. If you see this folder that we have high word count dot txt that is just created but we'll come back here we will execute here itself the output will be huge but we will we can anyway stop it using control C so let's see the output so that is the output we can stop it control C yes so that is how we write MapReduce course. Basically, we are not writing MapReduce course. We are writing SQL queries that are indeed converted into MapReduce course by Hive. So that is how we write Hive queries. In fact, if you have many Hive queries, how do we write SQL queries? Not every time we write it in an interactive manner where uh, we submit a code, then we press enter, then the output comes. Maybe we might have to write 10 or 20 uh, codes or 10 or 20 lines of code in one particular code file and then submit it to Hive. Basically, I have select count star and then I create a table, then I do group by, then I do something. So basically there are 20 or 30 even bigger SQL file with so many commands in it. Uh, we can store all of them in an uh, in SQL what we do is we store all of them in a .SQL file then submit it. Like that similarly we can also store in .HQL file here HQL file hard, Hive query language file we can store our commands in there and then call this uh, HQL file basically we can execute that HQL script file and get the results so let us see how it is done clear the window and then first I am creating a directory mkdir home cd user codes basically I am creating this directory if it is already there well and good if it is not there then it is created gedit I am opening my query dot hql so in a text editor I am opening my query dot hql so this is the file that I am opening right now 
so myquery.hql it is just opened here within that i'll write the hi query commands how many aware we want so this is the first command select star from stack of low tax limit 3 that is command number 1 or we can write even some more commands like you can write any number of commands and then go to hive call it then this will be executed automatically so you have this sql file okay save this this is not sql this is hql file save this hql file go back to hive new terminal go back to hive open hive within hive you mention source and the source code file source is the command then the source code file where is the source code file it is here home hd user records my query so write source and source code file it will execute and give you the result so here is the source command and then the source code is stored here you remember we opened a new uh, text file in that we wrote this query the query was select star from stack overflow limit is three so first three columns that we are looking for that are stored inside this myquery.hql and we execute it we'll get the output so there's some error source spelling is wrong source and then the source code file so so this is the output which is correct because it fetched first three rows so first three rows of stack overflow data is this one basically you can even run script files using hive basically go to hive and write source source code file in fact there are so many other sql commands that you can run you can not only create the tables you can drop the tables and do uh, you can also run other sql you can use uh, sql functions like average sum count all these you can almost use hive as an sql and everything that you write will be converted to map reduce automatically you just need to be sure or you, ne you need to be correct while you are right you need to write a errorless code that will compile and then execute on hive then hive will indeed convert them into map reduce on its own